Hello, my amazing subscribers and welcome, newcomers. I am Carnage, the creator, and welcome back to Survival Adventures with me and my buddy Bandit over here. He just went for a little swim in the farm again. Bandit, are you kidding me, man? Why are you always swimming over here in the farm? We're going to have to build you a pool. I'm telling you, I... I know I personally want a pool, but I'm telling you, you need one because you just swim in everything. You swim in all the water that you find. I don't even know what's wrong with you, Bandit. But anyways, today, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started on doing whatever we want. <laughs> because that's what we do in the world of Carnage and Survival Adventures. That's the whole point of it is to do whatever we want, including eating carrots while being chased by creepers. Oh, my gosh. I'm running. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up, creeper. Oh, we're gonna have to run away. Why are you even out of here? It's daytime. Isn't it past your bedtime? Get out of here. We're gonna have to go out and eat some carrots. We're gonna look around. Is there any more creepers? Well, it is a bright new day. That is why there's a creeper still out. It's out because it was nighttime and now it's daytime. But Mr. Creeper, it's time for you to go away. Matter of fact, we might attack. You know what, Bandit? You're gonna sit right there. It's time for us to take this creeper out. Get over here. Oh, don't blow up. hi -ya! Yeah! Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Did you guys see how close that was? Oh, I almost missed the uh, the second hit, and it actually it actually almost killed me. All right, so oh, and I have oh, I have my diamonds here from uh, last episode. So here's what I think we should do. Oh, we don't have any wheat in here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna go put our diamonds up because that's a very very crazy idea to walk around with diamonds um, in your inventory. Don't do that. It's a very bad idea. Always put your diamonds in a safe place. So we're gonna go ahead and put our diamonds in here with the rest of them. We now have 19 diamonds, guys. We are getting there. As far as diamonds go, we're going to need a new diamond shovel pretty soon. A new diamond axe pretty soon. And I would say we probably want to always make sure we save at least three more in case we need a pickaxe or a sword. But with that said, I mean, we're getting very close to where we can do stuff such as make enchanting tables and stuff like that. Whatever whatever else we can possibly use diamonds for. So with that said, we put up our diamonds. Is there something else? Oh, yeah. That's right. We were going to grab ourselves some delicious, nutritious wheat right here. So we got ourselves... Uh, you know what? Let's actually... Let's just grab a full stack and leave it over there. We'll try to we'll try to remember to leave it over here, but we always forget and end up bringing this stuff with us. But over here by the sheep farm, I think it's a good idea to try to keep a keep a good amount of weed over here so that we could just kind of come over here on our own free will and kind of just hang out whenever we want. But let's go ahead and breed the mommy sheep and the daddy sheep, and that should go ahead and make one more baby sheep. Boop, there it is. Hey, look at that. It's a little baby sheep. All right, so with that said, I could also lure all the sheep over here, except for that one. That one's hot. I guess he doesn't want anymore. I guess he I guess he ate everything, but the reason I was trying to lure them away so they don't get through this door, but with that said, let's go ahead and uh, head on over here. We're going to put up this wheat that we don't need, and I don't, know, <laughs> I don't know why I put so much, like, random stuff in here, but I'm going to hang on to this wool. Um, and I'm gonna hang on to this because I can go put it in the house. Actually, I don't think I don't think I have any more You know, let's check these chests really quick just to be on the safe side I don't think I left any more of this stuff laying around. I think I've been putting it on the floor I think I've been pretty consistent about it. But let's actually look real quick. There's no blue wool in there There's oh we actually did we have one blue wool in here. Is there any in here? Oh, yeah, that's just all wood stuff. Is there gonna be any in here? No. All right, so we've got eight more pieces of blue wool. We would have so much more the way that our thing was before um, oh wait, wait, what am I doing that? Oh, I was gonna grab my axe, but I forgot I moved my axe over here in my inventory Because usually I usually keep my axe like right next to my uh, pickaxe or something like that Or maybe next to my torch, but I moved it all the way over here just for uh, easy access later on So I'm thinking again. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the floors on uh, My bedroom over here or on what I'm thinking is gonna be a library I don't know we have to find a way to incorporate a staircase into it because we definitely are gonna want to come up here on over to the balcony. The balcony of Carnage looks absolutely amazing. And we can just look out and see the world of Carnage. So as far as the eye can see, we're eventually going to have all kinds of awesome stuff all around. Now the first project I really want to get started on is that barn over there. Or will it be a barn? It might be like a barn slash stables kind of thing. I don't really know what you would call it. It's kind of like, I don't know. I've got, I've got plans. It's either going to be like a closed kind of barn or it's going to be like one of those barns that is just open at all times and then has like fences in it. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like stables. It's kind of like a barn. I don't know what you call these things. I really don't. But with that said, I don't know where I want to put these pieces of blue wool. I'm thinking I could go ahead and put them down. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just go ahead and put them down here because we know all this is going to be blue. So we go ahead and do this and we're going to need to break seven more. So one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. Now, that's going to actually give us a bunch of wood stuff that we could go put up inside of our wood chest over here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. We're going to put all the stuff that we just grabbed. So that is the slabs as well as these oak planks. And it looks like we have a little bit of dirt. So I'm thinking, oh, we also have a bunch of lapis lazuli. Let's go ahead and add that to our stack. We almost have a full stack of lapis like that. And um, I'm thinking, let's just, let's just rearrange our inventory just a little bit. Just get everything all kind of organized like so. There we go. Now we have all these extra spaces. And I'm thinking what we should probably do, maybe, just maybe, we should actually go mining again. I know we did that in the last episode, but... I don't know. I feel like if we're going to build a bunch of crazy, crazy stuff, I feel like we still need more materials. I don't think we're quite to the point where we have everything that we want. But I guess for for now, as we come over here, and we can shear these sheep really quick. And then we can do a little bit more blue wool on the uh, on the floors. And then, did I not shear these before? Did I just breed them and then walk away? I don't remember if I did or not. Anyways, with that said, we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Put some more of this onto the floor, and then, and only then, can we uh, go down into the mine shaft. I guess that's what we should do. I mean, we've got all kinds of stuff we can do. Wait, did we leave Bandit over there? Oh, it's getting dark. Bandit, you better not be over there. It's time for... Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to go and use the uh, dirt. I knew I had, like, something else that I was thinking in my brain to do out here. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and get Bandit. He's way over there. There he is. Hey, Bandit, how's it going? He's like, uh-oh. He's like, looking at this, he's looking at this wall, he's like, Carnage, I'm very disappointed you didn't finish your barn. Guys, don't worry, we will get the barn done. It will, it will be absolutely awesome, it will be absolutely cool. But, this is also one of those things that I don't want to rush into. I feel like the house is the most important thing. We're not quite done with the house. We still have to finish the front porch and the back porch. And maybe add a little bit more detail to the side of it. I don't know, it's pretty detailed already, so I don't really need any more detail. But I think I could add a little bit more and it'll look a little bit better. So I think over the course of the next few um, episodes, I think that's what we're going to really focus on. Is um, finishing the outside of the house completely. Actually, I think probably, I don't know, maybe in the next episode or two, I think we'll have everything done. There's not much left to do as far as that goes. But with that said, let's go ahead and, um, what was I going to do? Oh, that's right. I had the uh, the blue wool. I knew I had something that I need to do. So let's go ahead and close these doors. We don't want anything coming in here, including you, you crazy cow. You stay out of here. And we're going to go ahead and start chopping down eight more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Look at that. That actually worked out perfectly. So we don't have any like weird spaces or anything. We have this whole entire little area just like so. And everything's looking good. We do definitely want to make sure we light it back up. Again, we are going to have ourselves some glowstone in the ceilings eventually. So we'll have ourselves like, I guess what you would call a legitimate, I don't know, like a legitimate ceiling light thing. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go ahead, head on back out here. Hold up. Hold the phone. I'm trying. I'm questioning this. Should we do the dirt thing now or should we go to the mine shaft? You know what, Bandit? Let's go to the mine shaft first. Come on out. Outside, bandit come on outside i promise you there's no there's no crazy oh he, he's running outside he doesn't even he has, he's not scared of nothing bandit's not scared of nothing he'll take out any mob for any reason without question so let's go ahead and head on over here and we're gonna sit bandit down out here he's gonna guard the place he likes to guard the place at nighttime when it's daytime he likes to come down to the mine shaft with us but anytime it's nighttime see look what he likes to do he's just running over i didn't have to tell him to do it he's just attacking that skeleton you know what we'll actually chase the skeleton down as well come on over here skeleton you have nothing on us you know, I'm going to let Bandit finish you off. Where's Bandit? Bandit! Bandit, this is not the time to do whatever you want. All right, we're going to take him out. Oh, we're running away. We're done with this. We're done with it. We're heading back out there. Oh, yeah, because he was still sitting down. That's what it was. All right, Bandit, you're going you're gonna to sit right there. You're going to guard the outside of here. You know, you're going to sit, like, right at the very top of that. Look at that. We can actually see him as we're coming up the stairs. So we can see if he's attacking anything or stuff like that. So... Let's put these bones up and let's go ahead and eat ourselves some delicious and nutritious carrots on our way down to the whatchamacallit, down to the mine shaft. Now we are going to grab some cobblestone and put in an inventory like that. And I like to keep my inventory, as of lately anyways, I like to keep my inventory like with as many spaces on the bottom as I can. That way I have a very clear indication of what all I actually got when I was down here mining. So with that said, I do definitely believe, oh my gosh, this thing is just so freaking far down now. I think what I'm going to have to do, honestly, I think, seriously, before we even mine anything else out of here, um, well, not not today, but I think any, after today, after we get these rows done, all the rows that are, that are currently here, all the way to this wall right here, I don't think, oh, look at that, there's a slime. I don't think we're going to be able to come down here unless I build like a rail system because it's just going to take so, so long to run across. Where did it go? Oh, there he is. He's running away. What are you doing, slime? Get back here, you little cutie. I'm going to take your slime balls and I'm going to use it for... Oh, he didn't give me any. 
Oh, man, are you kidding me? I was going to say I was going to use it for a piston. But he's like, I'm not letting you use my slime. I'm taking it with me. All right, so let's uh, let's go back here. We're going to make sure for 100% certainty that, um, let's look here, that we have our tunnel dug out. Well, we don't really have it dug out as far as it should be. So let's, uh, let's just kind of dig out it. You know what? I just thought of a better method. How about every time we get to the end right here, we make sure we dig out at least like three or four blocks. Yeah, that should work, right? That should totally work. All right, so let's go ahead and go through here. We're going to need to put another torch down. And I suppose we could just go ahead and go through here. Now, I do not expect to find diamonds right now. Do not... I, I just I just cannot. Do you know how many diamonds we have found recently? I do not feel at all that we're going to find diamonds. I think it would be absolutely insane if we found diamonds again. Like, we found... What was it? Like, five diamonds the last time and eight diamonds the time before that. I don't think... I don't think there's any more this close. If there is, I'll be very, very surprised. But I could definitely go for some extra iron and some extra... Even though I know I'm passing some, but I kind of want to just grab whatever's in my path right now. And then um, if I ever really, really need some iron, I'll come back down and I'll, I'll start grabbing that stuff. So I'm not really worried about picking up every single piece of ore. But, you know, it might get to a point where I'm going down all these roads and just grabbing stuff that I didn't grab before. Uh, but anyways, I'm kind of hoping that we run into some iron. I'm also kind of hoping we run into some emeralds because we can definitely use some emeralds. I mean, we haven't used any yet for trading, but I'm thinking once we start doing some cool stuff with uh, with trading for emeralds, once we have a lot of like supplies and stuff, I think we're going to be doing a lot of trading with the villagers. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and dig down another row here. We are running out of torches, so I think this might be my last row for for today i don't i don't want to do a lot of mining down here but i just felt like for some reason i kind of need to get materials together now i know i'm not going to need too much cobblestone um right now i know there's probably going to be some things i definitely need it for later on so i know i'm not going to need too much of it right now but at the same time it does not hurt to have extra supplies you can never go wrong with extra supplies so we're going to continue going through here and plus we're also getting diorite and granite and andesite so this stuff is all very very useful and Speaking of useful stuff, you know what else is useful? Torches. And we definitely need ourselves some torches. We've got to make ourselves, I guess, eight more torches for now. We're not going to make a ton of torches because, again, we're not going to stay down here for today. We're going to go back up to the surface and hopefully our sheep have grown back a lot more wool so that we can go ahead and shear them. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can go ahead and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost forgot one thing. We're going to make sure we dig out at least three... To five down here. I think that should be good. But anyways, with the uh, with the sheep, I'm thinking the mommy and the daddy sheep can be breeded one more time. Is that a word? They can be breeded one more time. And like so far, I don't I don't know if it's been long enough. But we're gonna we're gonna go try to breed them one more time. But again, once we yeah, I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna be able to dig down any further until we do something about transportation because this just takes like way too long to run across. So, I'm thinking we're going to have to do a minecart system. I don't know. We're going to have to see what materials it takes to do that. But, with that said, it should still be nighttime. We could still go out and attack some creatures. We definitely do need some of their awesome, awesome loot. And the more of this stuff that we get, the better. We can definitely use this stuff later on. I've got tons and tons of plans for the World of Carnage. But, none of that is ever going to happen unless we have all this stuff to actually build. So, let's go ahead and take out the skeleton here. We're definitely going to... Definitely gonna kill him and hope that he drops something cool. Did he drop? Yes, look at that. I was about to say, I hope he drops some arrows. Look at that. We've got 13 arrows. This is the most arrows we've ever had, I think. I don't know. Don't know for certain. Cow, get out of here. What are you doing? You get out of there. You get away from the door. You're not allowed inside. You keep sneaking inside, cow, and I'm not a fan of it. But we're gonna go ahead and run on over here. And if I'm not mistaken, which I might be, it might just maybe... It might be a good enough time to breed the mommy and the daddy sheep again. We're going to try it. I don't know if it'll work, but we are definitely going to try it. So, here we go. We're going to go inside really quick. So, we're going to have the mommy sheep and the daddy sheep. And are they going to make another one? Can we do it? Look at it. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, with that said, let's go ahead and shear these things down. We're going to get one, two, three, four sheep's wool. And that's going to give us a total of ten pieces of blue wool. Which we could definitely go put back inside of our house. And then I'm thinking what we should probably do. Just come out here and slay some creatures. I mean, we could start. I guess there's nothing really holding us back from starting on the front porch, is there? We could start on that. So let's uh, let's kind of think about that really quick. Think about what we want to do with that. I'm thinking I'll either use dark oak or spruce. I don't know for certain. But one thing I do know for certain is that we're going to have to go ahead and dig out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, and 10. Are you kidding me? Look how even this is. We just got the perfect ones right here. So you can go ahead and place these here and uh, just run these all the way across here. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking we might do something a little bit different with the doors. We're going to have like a kind of little entrance way that has like some tile kind of stuff going on here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it. But, well, I know there's no tile blocks. So I'm talking about that. It's like some type of smooth block that makes it look like there's tile here. So it kind of looks like it even though... I don't know what we'd make it out of. Maybe quartz or something, but I don't have any quartz. We haven't been to the nether yet. Or maybe some, whatchamacallit stuff. This stuff right here. Maybe some polished diorite will work. We'll try to figure it out. Actually, you know what? I think polished diorite will definitely work. I don't know. We'll kind of, we'll kind of think about it. But with that said, let's go ahead and head on out here. I guess we can't actually do what we were going to plan. And that was uh, take out. Oh, is there a dog over there? Oh, you get out of there. Did I not close the door? I did close the door. Oh, there's two evil dogs. Oh, they broke through the door? What? What? I didn't know they could break through doors. Did you guys see that? How did that? Did we do that? There's no way. There's no way the dogs did that. No way the dogs did that. Did we do that on accident? What happened? I have no clue. Maybe a zombie tore it down. And actually, if that's the case, it's a very bad idea to have wooden doors right here. Because if they tear through it, all of our sheeps are gone. I don't know what to do. We keep having so many problems with the sheeps. I really don't know how I'm going to be able to keep some sheep. I think I might have to put them in fences again, but the fences will have to be inside the barn. I just, I just don't, I just don't even know what to do. So with that said, let's go ahead and put these two blue pieces of wool down really quick. And then let's put up, I guess, all the materials we just grabbed from our mining excavation. We're going to put up all this cobblestone and dirt and stuff. No, we're grabbing the dirt. Oh, that's what we could do. We could do the thing that I wanted to do with dirt to begin with. We'll put up more of this stuff. Uh, we'll put up, no, 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 no. We're hanging on to the wood. And we're going to put up the cobblestone. And I did forget to put the uh, to put the wheat where it needs to go. So, let's go ahead and head on back out here. We're going to close the door as soon as Bandit comes out. Bandit, come out here, buddy. Oh, you know what? You need Bandit. You need yourself some delicious rods of flesh. Look at that. That's my favorite. All right. So, with that said, let's uh, go back on over here. We're going to put this wheat where it needs to be. And also, while we're over here, we're going to use some of this dirt to kind of, uh, to kind of get stuff where we want it to be. So, let's go ahead and put the wheat in here. And then, we can use this dirt to kind of do a little bit more terraforming. Again, we're doing this a little bit at a time. Slowly but surely, we're getting this together. And um, eventually, it should look pretty, pretty awesome. And also, speaking of slowly but surely, another thing that we've been doing, like, pretty slow. Probably the slowest thing we've possibly done in this entire series because we keep kind of forgetting about it and that is terraforming like the oh uh, i guess what, i don't know what you would call it like the back edge around the house because we kind of dug it out but we never really terraformed it so i'm thinking we should probably start to get to work on that and start kind of digging it up a little bit and kind of making it look more natural and stuff so we're gonna do this a little bit i don't know if we'll eventually expand it back even further but i think for now you know as it needs to get like that. I think for now, um, it would be a good idea to go ahead and start terraforming this and making it look how it needs to be. Now, I think this is going to be something that takes time. I guess it's going to take its course over multiple episodes. I guess that's how you can say it. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to terraform this all at once because I really don't know how far away from the house I want this to be terraformed. But I think we could at least start getting it to look more natural. So, go ahead and get rid of this. That's starting to look natural. I mean, keeping in mind that we probably should go ahead and break these right here and replace it with dirt, like so. And we should also probably go ahead and break this right here and replace it with dirt. But that's starting to at least look more natural for now. It's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect, but it's getting there. So, anyways, that looks, uh, I would say that looks pretty good. That looks natural enough, kind of. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and break this really quick, and I guess we should also break this down. And place ourselves a piece of dirt right here. And one thing we should definitely do, eat ourselves a bunch of absolutely delicious carrots. Because our hunger is way, 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 way down. And even though we're not being attacked right now, it's definitely good to keep your hunger up. Especially if you consider that you want to be running around all the time. Because that's definitely going to eat into your hunger. But with that said, let's go ahead and use our brand new 35 pieces of dirt. And then we're going to go ahead and visit the Wall of Carnage. So we've got a lot of stuff done today, guys. We've got a lot of terraforming done right here, which is very, very important. And then we got a bunch of stuff done inside the house as far as getting the uh, carpet and stuff done. I am messing this all up. Give me that. Give me that dirt. What are you doing there, dirt? And we're going to go ahead and place these all the way here. Again, I don't want to kind of start going down with it until right about here. So it's going to kind of terraform over here and that little pond thing will still be there. At least I think so. That's the plan for now. We might uh, change it up a little bit later on. But we're going to go ahead and place all this dirt right here. And then we're just going to run it all the way across like this. This is probably the best way to do it is just run it like that. So... 
With that said, we're gonna go ahead and visit the Wall of Carnage, and normally, I would probably, like, run through my house and leave through the back door, but I'm thinking what I should do is walk around my newly terraformed area back here and just walk on... Wow, did I leave all this dirt here? Was I not paying attention? Are you kidding me? I left all this dirt here. Look at this. That's crazy. How much did we leave? We left seven pieces. You know what? We'll, we'll deal with that later. But anyways, joining us today on the Wall of Carnage is... Blake Hogan. So congratulations, Blake, on making it onto the Wall of Carnage. Now remember, guys, if you want your name onto the Wall of Carnage permanently in this world forever, all you gotta do, leave some comments down in the comment section below, and I'll be choosing one lucky person each and every episode to put onto the Wall of Carnage. But with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave a like on it. Let's try to go ahead and get to... I don't know, 200 likes. And if you are one of the first 200 people to like this video, let me know down in the comment section below. But I've been Carnage the Creator. Catch you guys in the next video. And I'm out. Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're watching Carnage the Creator. Creator, Creator. Yeah. yeah.